Alright guys, what up? It's your boy National for comments. It's Wednesday night comic book day. I went a hell of early. I didn't work today, so I was able to go exactly at 10 o'clock when my bookstore opened. Anyways, I got a couple books to show you guys. Hopefully you guys are out there picking up your books, or maybe you're already reading them. Who knows? So let's get this started, guys. We got Detective Comics 27, 3D. So that was cool. Thanks uh, to DC. Batman 33. It was a $5 book, I believe. Yep. I got this cover, but uh, better be freaking good. Okay, paying five bucks. Goldberg number six. Archie, or Afterlife Archie. Boom. This number six, I think, as well. Yes, it is. And I know I said I was going to drop Eternal, but the trade paper back consists of issues 1 to 20. I was on issue 13, so I decided to at least finish the 1 to 20. Because I'm going to buy a trade paper back for 6 or 7 issues. So yeah, there they are. And that's that. Now last week, I picked up 3 weeks worth of books. And I read them all. And this was probably the best one. Bam. Miss Marvel. Freaking loved it. And a little special appearance by Wolverine, which is pretty cool. And last week I also said I was going to get a special book and I make a video on it, which I did. But in case you have no clue what I'm talking about, this is what I picked up. Stack Deck, the greatest joke stories ever told. If you want to know more, go check out that video. Now, I've been trying to learn more about other characters. That's why I picked up these two books I'm about to show you. Why I got Fear Agents why I picked up uh, X-Men, God Loves, Man Kills, which was okay. It was a solid three and a half, four star book. If you know anything about the Hitler type thing, then you know what the hell this book is about. You got Hitler, you got the, um, what's the name, Striker. You got Jews, you got mutants. Jews, kill them all. Mutants, kill them all. Same damn thing. The first page is probably captivating after that. It was good. But it had its up and down moments. But all in all, it was a pretty good read. Now, on to two books that I picked up. One is, Boom, Green Lantern, No Fear. And the other one is, Revenge of the Green Lanterns. I didn't know where to start, so I just picked up with the... <coughs> Jeff Johns run, excuse me. So yeah, if this is a good place to start, let me know. If this is a better place to start, let me know. And I've also been reading Why the Last Man. I read about a hundred and something pages. I'm not going to talk about all those. I'm just going to talk about the first 60 pages probably. This ain't the cover. I know it's very nice, but <laughs> it's not the cover. It's in the other room. It's freaking hot. So if you hear a hum or anything like that, that is air conditioner that's like you know, a foot away from the camera. Anyways, um, the first... Freaking 40, 50 pages of just Yorick talking on the phone to his girlfriend who was in Australia. And he gets a phone call from his mom. He's like, hey, it's your dad's birthday. Remember, say happy birthday. Call him. I love you. Whatever you want to say, tell him. All right, mom. Get the hell off the phone. I'm talking to my girl. Something like that. And then it cuts back to the mom. And she is talking to a senator. He's walking towards her. And, hey, I need to talk to you. They start talking. He's trying to get her to be a part of his bill or something like that. I forget. I've read so many damn books. No Fear This and Omnibus. and I read so much this past week that it's all boggled up in here. But anyways, she's not having it. And as they're talking, a man comes, a Secret Service guy comes to the senator and is like, Hey, the president wants to speak to you. It's about Agent 355. There's a bunch of other stuff happens in between that, but it's not as important. I'm about to, I'm gonna spoil this for you, so if you never read it, uh, get the hell out of here. <laughs> but um, yeah, you find out Agent 355 was looking for this. Um, I forgot who she was. Some lady, I forget. She was of some importance. I think she was a doctor. I can't remember. Anyway, she has a necklace that they're trying to get. And well, she, they're not trying to get it. These other people are trying to get it. And she's trying to protect it from these people who are trying to get the necklace from her. So 
So she goes to the house where she's staying, and um, she's not having it. She's like, no, nah, I'm not leaving. If I leave my country or this land, this necklace will cause this big-ass catastrophe. I can't go. And the agent's like, you really believe that? And she's like, well, no, you know, but it's my family's and, you know, I'm not giving it up. Well, the people that were looking for her show up, kill her. She's dead. Agent 355 takes the necklace. And she jumps on the plane, comes back, and a countdown begins. And as soon as she leaves that land, all hell breaks loose. All the dudes are dropping like flies, except Yorick. Boom. So yeah, that's why the last man. Anyways, guys, that's all I got to show you. I got Comic-Con coming up this week. Same thing with a bunch of other people. I've gone the last seven years in a row. I just got to hustle my way in. I'm seven for seven, so hopefully I make for eight. And if I do get in, I'll shoot a video for you guys while I'm in there. Nothing too much, because I hate carrying a camera around. So I'll just, you know, shoot a couple minutes worth here and there. Anyways, people, like, subscribe, share. Peace out. I'll be checking out your videos pretty soon. Laters.